Hello, this is Phil Thomas, New Era Systems. I've got what I thought would be an interesting tutorial, but I don't think it's going to work after all. Yesterday, when I first turned on this modem, it came up with a turbo card error. This is fairly common. The turbo cards do not seat very easily. Although we brag that we always test prior to shipping, sometimes one of these modems will arrive and that error will show up. It's not a big thing, it simply means that it hasn't been seated properly and the travel has just moved it from its slot. So yesterday I was looking at this modem, a couple of minutes ago I turned it on and no problems. Let's try it again. So I did nothing to it overnight and it fixed its own problem. But anyway, I'm going to continue, oh, no, it's come back again. So a couple of minutes ago it was perfect and so now it's gone into alarm. That's a good thing because now I'm going to go ahead, take off the cover and demonstrate how to fix it very quickly and very easily. Comtex seem to like screws and they've got a lot in here. I've already taken a few of them out just to save time. Of course I'm going to turn it off before I take the cover off. I'm even going to remove the power cord. This is the turbo card, it's held in place by two clips. Okay, there that's come out. Now by pushing that clip back and pushing this clip back, it releases it. Ideally I should move this board, but I think I can just snap this back into place carefully without really doing any damage to it. That's gone in, and these two clips should be holding it securely in place now, and it won't move unless I release those. So now what I have to do, I have to put on the plastic strap, and then we'll fire it up again and see if it works okay. And of course the purpose of this plastic strap is to prevent those two little tags from moving and releasing the card. There, that's safely back in place. So before I put the top on, I'm just going to connect the power and see if that fix has done what I think it should do. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. It's already got past that problem area and now it's going ahead and booting the Ethernet card. It normally takes a minute or so to get through this and if we wait another few seconds we should see the opening menu for this Comtech EF Data CDM 570L modem. Okay, that's all I have today, so I'm going to say thank you for watching.